Right, so last night I got a request to see a C11 already on the stream. Well, I have got ideas for the stream already, so I thought I'd do a video for you, but also take the opportunity to do some comparison. Because obviously, the Sonic Models Prairie here, Large Prairie, has just won Engage Locomotive of the Year. And I'm going to show you how an engine half its size, well, not half its size, but you know, Smaller, but still a 262. And one about the same size, but a 264. Outperform it, basically, <laughs> I guess. The train in question is that freight train. They all get the same load. We're going to start with the Sonic Models Prairie. And we'll end with the C11 which is the 264, here's C11, C12. Uh, we're doing that order just so I can get a few shots of the C11 running um, for Jake. Uh, hope it helps you make your decision. I'd just say go for it, but then I would. I love my Kato stuff, it's, it just works. But yeah, all right, so hope this, hopefully this helps you. All right, so Sonic Models, Large Prairie, take it away. Out of it, try and give it a bit of grip. Yeah, okay, so that's where it got to. Didn't even reach the signal. Sorry if the shaky camera is hard to do this one handed. Okay, so I shall now reset the train and it's a C12's chance. Okay. C12, multi reset. Okay, so that's it. And take it away, please. Same load, remember? And there we are. That's actually a bit further forward, so we'll use the locomotive to shove the train back roughly where it was. Right, I guess this Next. one really shouldn't shock us, but uh, let's just take it away. C11. Stay high and watering because I'm forgetting over the signal box. There we are. Again, no issue at all. So I'll speed it up now. And if you know, we'll let it go around properly, we'll do the proper test. Now I'll speed so we just get some different shots for coming past. I'm 
recycling pile, by the way, Nick Older. You, you, you start to think, don't you? The amount of boxes, we, things we order. It's actually too much for recycling, being along with all the normal household stuff. Yeah. Right, so hopefully that was uh, good enough for you, sir. Uh, helps you make the decision. Uh, yes, you know, like I say, the only thing they don't aren't is DCC plug and play ready. That's the only, only thing they aren't. However, I'll take that, and with the ability to pull a train, that was right on time, wasn't it? Um, yeah. I, I just don't know what's going on with that large prairie, and this is this is actually why I'm not going to be doing Great Western in here with 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 the Engage because <laughs> you know I, I'm back to my panniers. And uh, whilst I love my pannier tank, that's not all duty I ran with. Sorry, my hair's been really unruly today. Um, yes, uh, it's. It's not good. It's not good. This engine here is one that I shall probably keep, but cheese. Uh, it's it's woeful. The performance is woeful. When an engine looks smaller, it does fine. You have to ask questions. Of course, this one. I, I, I feel this one cheap because it's bigger. But, um, tell you what, I know what size it is. Oh, let me hang on. Hey, uh, there we go. I'll stop you so fussed about that now. Right, but yeah, so, um, yeah, I hope that helps you make, helps you make your decision. Um, I really am trying to avoid doing too much swapping of trains in, in the, during the streams. Which is one of the reasons why we'll probably never see my 3800 run in a stream, which is another reason why no great weapon um, on the engaged side of things because I want to be able to just run trains without worrying. I mean I might give it a lot a whirl in a minute. Um, on the passenger train actually. See how we get on for a while. But uh, yes, yes in the meantime I'm gonna carry on thinking about it. I've had some interesting responses, one of which was asking for this. Um, we do have the uh, I had a comment this morning from Lord Owl. My lord. <laughs> oh, and but the fact the fact this ended my friend. Friend of Lord Owl, that's <laughs> so many lovely people. Anyway. So yes, yeah, so the just as a little round up on that. Anthony Dodge. Your comment made me laugh out loud the most. Um, so I'll just read it out for the person of this. Hi Christopher, long time no see. We just had a video chat, you see. That's the context there. Hope you've been well, you changed a lot since last saw each other. I love the new screen saver on the computer, but it's beats the sights out of the hard copy you're with. My background on the computer regularly at the minute is actually the picture, a selfie of me and Anthony Joyce, you see, so, again. <laughs> All that aside, I think you should go with N-O-O-T-T -T scale, or not, not scale. And your layout should be based on a Japanese enclave, hidden in the Vales of Ireland, pretending, to, to pretending they're Yorkshiremen. <laughs> Partly what 
what made me think of doing this as a video as well, I'm going to be honest. I think it should be a big little layout or a little big layout. I hope my ideas help. Thank you, Anthony. <laughs> but um, also, as I say, I had Jake, Jake finding his music at another Mimdai doesn't know as well. Yep. Um, an idea in anime, uh, class 40 in MS Wine Black. I mean, yes, that could look good. As I said, though, not really looking for a class 40. It's not a loco that interests. I used to like the 40s a lot, but I've discovered peaks since then, and they, they, they take me a lot more. Uh, so yeah, not really about 40. And then they're just asking about the C11 running. So yeah, it's. No one said don't do it yet. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, so I'm still going to be thinking about that. But anyway, so I hope this has been of some use to you, and when I bleat on about how much better the Japanese Steam Locos are in model form than the, the UK counterparts. This is the sort of thing I'm talking about. But this is kind of a double-edged thing because this is where I know UK Engage could be better. Because it's been done by others. So yeah, you know, it can be done. It can be done better. I mean, that's got a light at front and back. I think this has got a backup light as well. C12's got a backup light. And obviously, Prairie shouldn't have light in them. But there's stuff they put in these. Okay, you don't need this one. So that's some extra room in this one then to to make it work. To put more weight in. To do something that does it pull the train. Um, but yeah. Right. I'm going to go and try that 3800. Um, I'm not confident about it. Uh, the Duchess is a very, very, very fine pulling engine. I mean, we're starting on the corner here. And it just strolled away. And this again proves they can, you know, it can be done. As it comes crawling in. And I would say I'll swap that out for the 28 or 3800 and then see how I get on. But anyway, that as they say is another story. So, hope you enjoyed the, three, the comparison of the three tank engines and I'll respond to those comments directly as well on the, on the thing. I've got more YouTube to catch up with and watch so I just pop to the shop to get myself some lunch because used up last of the yesterday and you know kind of want some more of that so I'm gonna go get some and have to walk. Ooh. But uh, yes. Right. I shall uh, catch you in another video. Take care all, space and be well. Bye!